Hi, I'm Govind Raj Ethiraj. I'm the founder of IndiaSpend.com and FactChecker.in. This is a data journalism initiative as well as a fact-checking initiative. We were set up in 2012 with the mission to improve the quality of public discourse. And we do that by using data to tell stories in areas like health, education, environment, and gender. There are three tips that I want to share with you today. The first one is about how we set up this organization. We decided to focus, or find a niche rather, and then focus on that. And we felt that the niche is important because there are many players doing many things, particularly in the digital news space. So when you have a niche, people know what to look for and why to develop an affinity or a, or a relationship with you. The second tip is to know who your consumer is. In our case, our consumer is actually not you who is reading our stories, but our publishing partner, that could be a newspaper, an online daily, a wire service, or a TV station. Because we realized that the kind of content we do is not something that people want to read every day, but would read actually when part of a larger bouquet of content, which is typically what is served on a newspaper or a website. So that's my second tip. So my third tip is about revenue. Now, now, we do not actually have a tip which tells you how to get that revenue because the story is really a little more complex. It's about saying that I will keep looking for avenues which will provide revenue and typically look for avenues from sources or people who have some use for the product that I create or for the content that we put together. So to give you an example, we work with a stand-up comedy company in India and we fact-check their content before it goes on air. Now, this is a very well-known comedy channel in India. It's called AIB and we fact-check their content content and they give us some money. We also get paid by in the form of contract research by other such organizations but not in the stand-up space. And finally, we also do a lot of training. We, do, we train other people, particularly journalists and civil society organizations, on how to use data to either, either write stories or do reports or basically empower themselves and do a better job of what they're doing already. So that's really my third tip.